Practitioners all know which taxpayers need to be registered as a provisional taxpayer. For instance, anyone who earns income from any source that is not taxed as payers you earn at source or earns more than 30,000 rand a year in investment interest, etc. What is sometimes a bit confusing is what amount to use as an estimate of taxable income. You may work out an estimate of taxable income or you may use a basic amount from the last previous year of assessment as the taxable income for this estimate provided that the last assessment was finalized not less than 14 days before this estimate is submitted and provided that this amount is not less than your actual estimate. How does capital gains income and lump sums influence your estimate? You must subtract any income from capital gains from the previous assessed taxable income before you use it as an estimate this year, but you must include capital gain income that you expect to receive in this year in the estimate for this year. So let's make sure we understand this. We can base this estimate on the basic amount or taxable income from the last finalized assessment but less any capital gain income that formed part of that last finalized taxable income basic amount. Any income from capital gains profits expected this year must be included in the estimated amount for this estimate. For example, let's say we intend disposing of an asset this year and we estimate making a profit of 100,000 Rand. After the annual exclusion of 40,000 Rand, we are left with a balance of 60,000 Rand and 40% 40 of 60,000 Rand gives us an amount of 24,000 Rand as income from capital gains. We must include this 24,000 Rand income from capital gains in with our estimate of taxable income. If we are going to use a taxable income or basic amount from a previous last year of assessment, then we must increase the basic amount by 8% per year before we include any expected income from capital gains. Lump sums form no part of provisional estimates. The reason is that lump sums do not form part of a regular taxable income. Lump sums are not taxed at normal rates and SARS's IRP6 provisional tax form only makes provision for normal income taxed at normal rates. In the case of a taxpayer receiving a lump sum, SARS will not be disadvantaged as before a lump sum can be paid out to a taxpayer, the fund or the employer paying the lump sum has to obtain a directive from SARS. The directive will instruct the fund or the employer to deduct the necessary amount of tax due on the lump sum when the lump sum is paid out. Your estimate of taxable income must be as accurate as possible. If the taxable income is less than 1 million rand, then your estimate must be within 10% of the eventual assessed amount. If the taxable income is more than 1 million rand, then your estimate of taxable income must be within 20% of the eventual assessed amount. Underpaying provisional tax may lead to SARS imposing penalties, but overpaying provisional tax brings its own problems. If paying too much provisional tax means you are going to be due a refund on your eventual assessment, then the earliest you are going to get that money back from SARS will probably be in about a year's time. Rather use Wintax to estimate your income and taxes as accurately as possible in order to pay just the right amount.